Let's be honest. Where you at? Where you at? I wanna get you out. In my bag, in my bag, going for the paper. Yeah, let's be honest, that's my money. Okay, okay, so um, welcome once again, guys. Welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the MIDI to insert function in Cubase 3.3. So first things first, as you can see, I already have this uh, vocal I did record, and I did duplicate the track, right? So on the first thing, what we're going to do, we're going to listen to the track with just the um, regular altitude, right? So let's go in bring an altitude okay so let's choose the the, um, the key that's not your minor okay so this is what it sounds like hey uh, hey now let's be honest where you at and where you do i don't really care about all that in my bag in my bag going for that paper air i stay on it place my mind be Okay, so uh, now let's enable the MIDI inserts, right? MIDI to insert. So what you need to do is tap on this new icon at the top right here, which says M and then with a, what's it called? With the arrow that goes to A. So you tap on that and then we can choose the MIDI. This only works for me, obviously, MIDI tracks. So let's choose track number one, which is the track with our melody. And then you need to enable target pitch. This is another new um, icon Incubase is 3.3 on the Waves RT plugin, right? So basically, this gets um, what do you call obviously MIDI inputs, as you can see over there. So it gets MIDI. The so the plugin is controlled by MIDI, let's say. So this is what it sounds like. It's gonna sound a bit funny. Now let's go to the next track, which is the same audio recorded, right? But this time it's with the vocoder, and this is what it sounds like with just the vocoder. Wait a second, I need to pull that. If you want to use this uh, vocoder, the vocal, right? If you want just the regular vocoder, you need to use this. If you want the vocoder that can get MIDI input from external source, in this case, um, tracks and Cubases, you need to use the second one. So this is just the regular the vocal. So this the vocal. Their vocal, this is what it sounds like. Obviously, in this case, you have to uh, mess around with the keyboard, you have to play the notes. You want the you have to mess around with the notes, right? In the vocal. Okay, so now let's deactivate that and activate the one with the MIDI, right? Same thing as with auto tune. Just go in and tap on that and let's choose the MIDI track. So track number one again, and this is what it sounds like. Come on. Okay, so now you can be creative and you know, leave this one on the regular auto tune without the MIDI and have this one on um, with the MIDI control and see what it sounds like. Hey, hey, now let's be honest. Where you at and where you do, I don't really care about all that. In my bag, in my bag, going for that paper, air, I stay on it, place my mind be.
one thing I did forget, one of the improvements. Now, for example, if you split an audio, as you can see, the, the right audio still is selected, as you can see. So it makes it easier for you to split audio now without having to split, click, split, click. So now it makes it really easy. I don't know if I did mention in one of the previous videos. We now have the ascent level in decibel, so you know what you're setting your levels to. And uh, yeah, so stay safe, everybody, and see you next time.